How's it going guys? Vlad here and today I'm going to talk about a fairly simple concept in electrical engineering which is nodal analysis. So I'm going to solve two circuits. Uh, you see the first one right here. And I'm going to jump straight into it and explain the steps that I take to actually come up with the final uh, nodal voltages. So let's get to it. Um, the first thing I like to do is obviously set the ground and in this case it's fairly simple. You can just put it at the bottom. But you don't have to. You can put it at any node as you wish. Uh, the second thing I like to do is name my nodes. So as you can see, the software already placed the dots, so I don't need to do a lot of identification of uh, of the nodes. So I can just go right ahead and put V1, V2, and V3. The third step is obviously identifying the currents in the branches. So I like to do it from uh, left to right. So we have a current through this resistor. We have a current through this resistor this one and finally this one into the ground the um, current sources are obviously they give you a direction for the currents so we're gonna start by writing the current um, analysis at each one of the nodes so at V1 we have one current that's coming in so that's three um, and you have two of them that are coming out so the top one is gonna be V1 minus V3 divided by the resistance so we're going to write that down, V1 minus V3 divided by 1, plus we have a second current, which is V1 minus V2 divided by 5. And that's all we have, so we can simplify this equation by multiplying by 5, so it's 15, it's equal to 5V1 minus 5V3 plus V1 minus V2. So that is our first equation. For V2, we have one current that's coming in and two of them that are coming out. So the one that's coming in is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance. And that is equal to V2. In this case, it's minus 0 since it's the ground. So we can just write V2 divided by 3 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 2. And we can multiply everything by 30. So it's 6v1 minus 6v2 equal to 10v2 plus 15v2 minus 15v3. So that's our second equation. And finally for v3, we have one current that's coming in, two, and three. So we have all the three currents are coming in. So we're going to start with the current source. So it's 8 plus v2 minus v3 divided by 2 plus v1 minus v3 divided by 1 and all of that is equal to 0 since nothing's coming out and we're going to multiply by 2 so it's 16 plus um, v2 minus v3 plus 2v1 minus 2v3 is equal to 0 and that is going to be our third equation. So obviously I'm going to assume that you know how to solve a series of equations. So in this case you have three equations, three unknowns, and what you're going to come up with is that V1 is equal to 48.625 volts, V2 is equal to 33 volts, and V3 is equal to 48.75 volts. And what does this all mean? Well, basically, if you get asked on a question, what is the current I4, for example, which is this current, you can find it from the node. So in our case, you, you know that I4 is equal to V2 minus V3 divided by the resistance, which is 2. So 33 minus 48.75, you divide by 2, and what you get is actually a negative 7.875 amps and what this means is that the current is actually going the uh, the opposite way of the uh, of the way that you had selected for your for your current so you have to you have to make sure that you understand what this what this minus mean, means so basically um, as I had mentioned we had three currents coming into our node and as you know this is impossible so one of them has to be negative and you have to watch out this is a very good way to check if you 
if you made the right decisions for the current and if your numbers are correct. So one of these has had to be negative. Finally, what I wanted to say based on the circuit is a mistake that people commonly make is that you see that this bottom node is connected to three components, right? But in a case where it's not the ground and you have something like this, for example, people tend to place two nodes on these branches. And that's incorrect because both of them are simply connected by one wire. So you need to make sure that all, all of your nodes are not connected by just a simple wire. So this is all V3 and this is still V2. This is not a separate node. All right, so let's go to the second circuit. So once again, we start by identifying the ground. We go into our node, so this is V1 and V2. Here you're tempted to place a V3, but I'll show you how to solve it without using a super node. Let's identify the currents. This one's going down, left to right. All right. So let's start writing the equation. So at V1, you have the current source that's coming in. So 5 is coming in, and it's equal to V1 divided by 5. It's um, V1 minus 0, so just V1, plus V1 minus V2 divided by 10. This is the middle current. And in this case, what you would write as V1 minus V2, but since you have 4 volts uh, source, this node is basically becomes a... V2 plus 4 volts. So you use it the same way as you would. So V1 minus V2 plus 4. And all that is divided by your resistance, so it's 10. We can simplify this equation by multiplying by 10. So it's 50 is equal to mm, 2V1 plus V1 minus V2 plus V1 minus the 2 minus 4 and let's go ahead and actually do the numbers so that's 54 and it's equal to 2 3 4 v1 minus 2 v2 and we can put we can solve directly for v2 so it's v2 is equal to 2 v1 minus uh, 27 so that is our first equation and we write the same thing for V2. So we have one, two, three currents coming in and one coming out. So we can write two plus V V1 minus V2 divided by 10 plus the same current, which is V1 minus V2 plus 4. All that is divided by 10 and all that is equal to V2 divided by 2. So we can multiply by 10 once again, so that's 20 plus, uh, 20 plus 2v, sorry, plus v1 minus v2 plus v1 minus v2 minus 4, and all that is equal to 5v2. I'm going to solve for the number, so that's 16 and that's equal to 5, 6, 7, 7, V2. And we're going to put V. So it's minus 2, V1. And we're going to substitute the V2 into this equation. So that gives us 16. It's equal to 7, 2, V1 minus 27, minus 2, V1. 16 is equal to 14 V1 minus 189 minus 2 V1. So that gives us 205 is equal to 12 V1. So V1 is equal to 17.0833 and obviously you can substitute v1 back into v2 so v2 is equal to 2 times 17 point minus 27 so that gives us 
7.166 volts and there you have it, you solved for V1 and V2 using nodal analysis and as I explained in the other example you can use this to solve for any current that you want in within your circuit so um, that's it for this tutorial hopefully you learned um, how to do nodal, nodal analysis and I'll post some more difficult cir uh, circuits in the future so make sure to subscribe comment and leave any questions that you might have I'll be I'll gladly solve them thank you for watching bye